And do you take film from your previous start? Do you work with your pitching coach on things that you um, want to improve upon from that? Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I don't like, I don't like uh, to look at my mechanics. I don't like to look at my old film. I just, because for me, it's a, a big feeling thing. Um, so I, I know if the, if the coach tells me, like, hey, uh, this and this and this you need to work on, and I know too, like, hey, this and this I need to work on because you know what's going on. So I go out there and throw, and I work on these things. I'm not kind of looking at myself uh, at film because it's, it's different than when you actually do it. When you do it, it's just a little different um, different feel. So, and then on the bullpen day, uh, you throw your bullpen, I do all my arm exercises, my rotator cuff. And with light weights, my tubing, and I lift upper body uh, very light uh, just to uh, get the blood flowing and get the blood through the arm so you're not sore. And um, the day after that, you, now you have your bullpen and you have two more days to prepare for your fifth start. So those two days, you throw a uh, long toss, you do a lot of running so your arm feels good, and, um, and you get ready for your uh, the day before you start. Uh, you don't do too much. You throw a little bit, you, know, you can do some long toss. Uh, do some flat ground, uh, you know, make sure you feel right, you feel good, and um, and do a little bit of running, and uh, that, that's about it. Now, in terms of preparing for your next opponent, yeah. you know, most people scouting that's involved, yes. do that. Now, is it easier, uh, do you cover that that team, say you got a free game series coming up with them, when would you go about doing that? And if you had game three or game one, is there an advantage to having the game three versus yeah. that series, which I would think so, rather than a game, game yeah, one? Yeah, there's, there's an advantage, but as, as much as you play the teams, in that first game, you already know who you have and what you do. Uh, you know, if you face uh, the New York Mets and you got game one, you know they're stacked. So it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really matter if you have game one or game three. But if you see them, you know, uh, if you got game three, you know if um, who guys are hot at right. that at that time. Maybe Carlos uh, Delgado is hot in that period. And there's guys in base pitch a little different. Uh, so it's just a uh, scout. Give you scout report. You got. They got. Um, they got books. They got things on just for one hitter. Uh, they got whatever you want. They basically have. Uh, but um, it's a little, little different than if, um, say, that uh, you face um, Jose Reyes. Uh, he's a good, he's a good fastball hitter. Um, he's a bad breakable hitter. But my best pitch is my fastball. Then I'm not, I'm not gonna run away from Jose Reyes. He's still got to hit the ball. The hitter only, you know, his uh, 300 is very good. Hit 300 in big leagues, pretty good. So that's all. That's, you know, that's so your philosophy. Yeah. Is strength against strength. Strength against strength, right. especially in, in, uh, in those situations. But if you face at that point, you know, God is a good guy over here, and he's hot. There's two guys in base. You might want to change it up a little bit. <laughs> So on game day, I mean, you're you're getting yourself ready. Take take us through like from morning through the after. How would you get yourself? Uh, seven o'clock game. Day. Seven o'clock game. Yeah. It's just uh, you know, just sleep a little bit uh, the day before. But the important is they have a little two day rule. Two days before you start, uh, that's when you get your, your best sleep. Um, the day before you sleep, uh, you wake up, you have some breakfast. You just I like to, to uh, be distracted a little bit, so I don't think about the game all day. I like to go to the mall, maybe walk around, uh, talk to family, talk to friends, stuff like that. Um, just uh, you know, stay loose, that I'm not focused on the game, because if I'm focused on the game, I can make a million mental wraps already before the game starts. So I just like to be loose and I go to the mall, hang out, a little bit, talk to family, friends, maybe uh, my dad is there, my mom, or something. And uh, I just go to the mall. It's a 7 o'clock game, I'll be in the park about uh, around 3 30, 4 o'clock. Just uh, meet up with the guys, um, you know, talk some shit to each other, <laughs> some basic, basic stuff, and, uh, and maybe uh, sometimes I watch a I watch a movie or something before the game. I listen uh, about an hour hour before the game. I listen to some music. Uh, I stretch out my legs very well because I think it's very important to stretch out your legs because uh, you need those the most. Um, I stretch out my legs, uh, and I get ready about half an hour for the game. I go out and I do my uh, my routine in. Uh, my warm up, you know, running, stretching, uh, throwing, and I go into the bullpen. I don't throw, I don't throw too much in the pen. I don't, I'm not going to go if I miss a spot. I'm not going to hammer that spot for another ten times. But next time you know, next thing you know, you got 50 pitches already in the pen. So I don't throw too many uh, pitches in the pen. I throw maybe 30, 35. Uh, especially work with pitches that work that day, because you know that's important that you uh, work with pitches you have that day. It's not not all the time that you have all four pitches working. If all four pitches work, you might have a really good day. It's 
that all the time. So you worked on the pitches that worked that day and uh, you went to the game. Now, in terms of your philosophy going into the game, what are you trying to do? You establish the fastball. Yeah, that's a that's a core, very important for me. That's very important because I'm a fastball pitcher. That I establish my fastball low in the zone on the corners, um, and also establish the inside corner of the fastball, um, which is very important. Yeah, why is that so important? Uh, guys, uh, inside bat. If you, if you throw, if you throw uh, a good inside fastball, you know hitters they uh, want to back off. So you open up the outside of the plate, the outside of the plate. Which is uh, very important. You can also throw fastballs away at that point, and they just uh, hit the other way and roll away, stuff like that. You can throw pretty good pitches. But you want to establish that inside of the corner of the plate. Also, for um, the bullpen, who comes in after you, is important for you. So, you have, uh, how, how were you accepted by the major league? Was that intimidating at first? Was that feeling like, oh, uh, what am I? You know, it was a little, you know? little bit, um, this guy, they don't, you know, kind of. Kind of weird because this guy's really big, uh, and I was playing against. So it's, uh, but the, my teammates, uh, you know, the Mark's like a free young team. So it was, it was I, I played with a lot of guys, I know a lot of guys from being around the Mark for so long. So it was good that uh, there was a couple of guys that uh, they settle you down and uh, make sure you, uh, you know, you take it easy and don't go ahead of yourself. But um, it was it was great. I think that they were great. Um, even the guys from, from a different club. They approach you sometimes, you know, because you're the only one from Europe. You know, they're like, hey, you know, uh, I was asked to play uh, like Kurt Tarlow. You know, he, he, he comes up to me and goes, hey, man, uh, uh, they asked if I can play for the, for the World Baseball Cup. And you kind of have conversations with all kinds of different guys. You know, so, so how did you get this? Uh, all in Hammer? All in Hammer. The incredible Earth. Yeah. Uh, from all. Uh, they, one day on TV, uh, they had a... Uh, they said they, they had a trivia question or something like, uh, what should Rick's nickname be? And uh, people just send in uh, their their reaction or their opinion of what they want to be. And uh, it happened to be those two and uh, one or two. And then uh, everybody in the club all started calling me all that way. From my own perspective, I'm curious as to what, what role a person coach can play um, in you achieving what you want to achieve, obviously within the team goals, but yeah. individually, I mean, what role does a pitching coach have in your organization in terms of relationship? I think, I think a big, a big um, he's a big step to your success, I think, because uh, you can, you can uh, besides the fact he sells you down, and you sit down when you talk to about all the hitters, uh, he, he's got himself, he knows a lot of stuff about the game, obviously, and, uh, you know, this impact, um, this input, I mean, can do a lot, you know, maybe grip the ball like this, maybe grip the ball like that. Uh, I see him throw, uh, you know, with video. He, he looks at the video every day. So after I pitch, the next day, he's at the field early, <coughs> watching the whole game over again, but just watching me and in different situations. And then afterwards, when, uh, you know, he comes and talks to you, he goes like, hey, you know, this is the situation, what do you do, and why you throw this pitch, um, uh, what's, what's going on with your arm angle, uh, why you look a little bit out of whack, look great, um, you know, make sure you just do the same thing, just all kinds of stuff that we're uh, talking about, and you get better and better and better all the way. Anyway. If you had to uh, advise someone, a kid that's aspiring to be the next group from her going in, what advice would you give, give a kid to get yourself prepared um, for what's about? Just play a lot, play a lot, play a lot of baseball right. and have fun playing it. It starts with just doing the little things right and uh, just make sure you have the right mechanics and, uh, you know, like you said, showing up, like they said, showing up early and doing a lot of stuff. What I did for myself is do a lot of stuff, uh, not just with the team, but also when I'm at home, I used to do a lot of, a lot of drills and I used to hit a lot, I used to throw a lot. Uh, just always, I was always busy and playing with the game. And uh, I think the more you do that, uh, the more you see and the more you learn. The reputation you have around what we hear a lot about is that you're always asking questions. Yeah. Always involved, always go 